For cheap Minecraft hosting, be sure to go ahead and check out Clovex.net. What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to blur in Photoshop. Now just before we get into this video, if you would like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So getting straight into this, first of all I'm going to be showing you how to blur the whole image, then I'm going to be showing you how to blur part of the image. So first of all you want to go ahead and just unlock the pad if it is on. If it isn't, then ok, just continue and highlight the layer. So once your layer is highlighted, come to filter, come to blur, and as you can see there are loads of different blurs. The one I recommend you do is Gaussian blur. So as you can see you get a little preview window here, so if you hold left click you can see this is what the normal version looks like, if you let go it goes back to what the blur actually looks like. Now here is the radius, this increases or reduces the amount of blur. Now what I recommend is anywhere between 2, which looks like that, and 8 and that's what 8 looks like. But again, it's completely up to you, you can go ahead and play around with it, it's going to be completely different for each image. So for this image, I'd probably go for like 5, and then once you're done, simply just go ahead and press OK. And then the image is now done, you can go ahead and save it. So using the same image, now I'm going to be showing you how to blur a certain part. So now what I'm going to do is blur the PS, this is very simple to do, I'm going to use the marquee tool to mark it out, so go ahead and get it like this, and I'm going to be happy with it like that. I'm going to go to the move tool, I'm then going to go to filter again, blur, Gaussian blur and as you can see it's only blurring the PS right now so again we can mess around with how much we do you can see if you go too much but well, this is literally overkill it literally just takes it off and uses the background so make sure you pick a suitable one so again let's go ahead and pick like 5.9 click OK and now you see you still got this little box here come back to the marquee tool right click and click deselect and then you are done you have blurred out the certain part of the image and it does look really good now it works for any type of image, and if you have loads of layers, you can still select the layer you want to blur, and it'll work that simple. Anyway, that's it for this video, it's a very simple tutorial, like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below, ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated when we're posting and what we're posting. Also be sure to go and check out my game channel, which I'll sign up pretty soon. And finally, be sure to go and add me on Snapchat or just you want to do throughout my day. See you guys casual Sam here. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Great. Um, peace.